Hi, my name's Neil. I'm an epilepsy nurse specialist. Um, I've been asked by Young Epilepsy to answer some questions that have been sent into them about uh, epilepsy and coronavirus COVID-19. Um, my wife Rian's going to ask me those questions as I answer them. Are people with epilepsy more likely to get COVID-19? Um, there is no evidence to say that people with epilepsy are more likely to get COVID-19 or coronavirus than any other person. How quickly does COVID-19 affect people with epilepsy? Uh, again, the same as everyone else, um, probably five days with no symptoms where you don't know you have the virus, which is why it spreads so easily, and then probably seven days um, or over to for the symptoms to show and to have the, the, the virus itself. But it's no different for people with epilepsy. Are people with epilepsy more at risk if they get COVID-19 and will COVID-19 cause breakthrough seizures? There is um, a very good chance that illness being quite a large trigger of people with epilepsy having more seizures that um, if you get the virus, there is a chance you will have more seizures, more breakthrough seizures. Just follow your care plan. Um, you'll know what your seizure frequency is normally like. If you have more seizures, uh, it's worth speaking to your epilepsy team and just gaining advice from them by phone, um, ideally in the first instance, um, and trying to manage seizures as best you can, ensuring you've got support from people around you. What are the potential complications of having COVID-19 and epilepsy? Uh, the complications is that the, as we said, the trigger with illness um, is the risk that with the illness or having the virus that you will have more seizures and then obviously the risk of seizures um, injuring yourself more often, the risk of going into a longer seizure and needing to go to hospital. A high temperature or being run down triggers seizures for some people. What should we be doing? The best thing we can all be doing at the moment, and that counts for everybody, uh, whether you have epilepsy or not, is to try and reduce the spread of the virus by following the government's um, instructions. Try to isolate and stay at home as much as possible. Don't go to places with lots of people. Um, try and maintain a good distance between people while you're out and about. Um, try to go out mainly for exercise and shopping in the supermarkets. Hand washing is the number one way to reduce the transmission of the virus. So that will stop people with epilepsy getting the virus in the first place and therefore not having those extra seizures but also it's going to help stop the spread of the virus and mean saving lives in the long run. Should people with epilepsy self-isolate? One of the guidelines that has been sort of giving out by the government um, is to say that if you are on the flu jab list, that, that is a good example of where you would be in a more vulnerable group. Um, it does mention chronic neurological problems, um, but actually in the case of epilepsy, that's not always the case and you may not always need to have the flu jab. So again, you should take advice from your epilepsy team, maybe give them a call or have a chat with your local doctor, um, your neurologist, um, and then make a decision on that. However, if you feel that you do feel that you're at risk and you know that illness is a major trigger, then it is worth potentially isolating more than perhaps you would if you didn't have epilepsy. Um, but again, doing what's best for your mental health, balance that, balancing that against your physical health and your well-being. Are people with epilepsy immunocompromised? There are very few people with epilepsy that are immunocompromised. Epilepsy in itself of any kind does not cause immunosuppression, but there may be people that are on specific drugs. Um, Evelyn uh, with tubular sclerosis, for instance, or if people are on steroids, if you're on steroid drugs, you are immunocompromised and it would be worth self-isolating in that instance. But other anti-epileptic drugs and treatments do not cause immunosuppression. And therefore, if you have immunosuppression, um, you should self-isolate. But if you do not, you can carry on with the normal precautions. Will response times get slower in the NHS due to COVID-19, leaving people with epilepsy at risk? What will happen during coronavirus COVID-19 is felt is that there will be higher pressure on the National Health Service. There will be more pressure on intensive care beds um, and on high dependency beds. And they will be trying to make more beds for both people with the virus and people who normally require intensive care. The hope is that seizures are triaged by ambulance services in a certain way so they can have a quick response to prevent um, status epilepticus. And therefore, the hope is that those um, ambulance times should stay the same. Um, so hopefully there will be no change. Are you more at risk working in a hospital environment? Hospitals, frontline NHS staff, people that are working within hospitals with sick people are more likely to come in contact with people with the virus as those people will be accessing hospital if they have severe symptoms. Therefore, working in a high risk environment like a hospital, you are more likely 
Um, but if you follow all of the protocols within your job description, um, follow the new guidance that will be given out in your workplace, um, you should be able to minimise these risks. However, it may be something you need to discuss with your line manager to ensure that you're doing all the right things.